Hello, hello AGK fans. I wanted to demonstrate something that uh, you may not know in that we're developing a new version of AGK, uh, unoriginally titled AGK2, and I just wanted to quickly demonstrate the latest player and the latest IDE. Now what you're looking at here is a quad-core tablet uh, running the Android operating system and I just want to show you how easy it is to actually get up and running doing Android development. So I'm already running the software but it really is simple, you just go to the store you type out AGK, you see the nice little white icon with the AGK2 in it so you download and install and run that and then you've got your player so that sits quite happily waiting for a signal. Now you'll notice here I've got my Mac. Um, AGK2 is going to be released on Steam so you'll be able to find it, install it onto your computer very very quickly and easily. So AGK2 is here and then I'm going to open one of the examples. So we go into the projects folder and find something say oh, a shader example. So that loads in, and there's some buttons here, one's called Compile, Run, Broadcast and Debug. The one we're interested in is the, the Broadcast one. So here's the program, pretty simple commands, just to load some media in and set a camera up, load in some shaders, apply it to the objects, and then a loop which will just run through a couple of simple instructions. So when we press Broadcast, watch what happens on the tablet. The player is sitting and waiting for a program, I click Broadcast on the Mac, the player kicks into life. Now it's actually transmitted the media and the program from the Mac to the tablet <laughs> seemingly instantly and uh, it's now running at full speed on the tablet and of course because it's quad-core it's super super fast and AGK V2 one of the things that um, you'll notice about it is we're really going whole hog to add the uh, 3D stuff so more shaders, more 3D commands, more cameras, more lights, things like that so make great use of the faster tablets that are coming out on Android and one thing to mention of course is the AGK binary that gets produced it's already optimized for x86 Intel architecture so this is actually running in Intel architecture right now and of course because the binary has that, it can run it natively uh, on the tablet so you get it at maximum native speeds which is what everybody wants especially if you're writing uh, games applications that require a lot of performance intensive stuff so if I press the broadcast button again watch what happens to the tablet <laughs> it goes back into standby mode and of course I can actually run it on the Mac as well so there's the same program running on the Mac and it goes without saying, this is AGK, it's a cross-platform development language, so it will also run on Windows, it will also run on all the other platforms we support, including uh, iOS. Uh, but what I wanted to demonstrate today is, I just got this through the post, it's a super, super fast quad-core tablet, and from a fresh install, I managed to go onto the store, find the player, download it, run it, click a button on the Mac and it transmitted the app straight to the device so I had an Android application running on my device literally within minutes of getting it out of its packaging so it just shows you how powerful it is to develop applications and get them running on different devices uh, all thanks to AGK version 2 so this is a quick demonstration I hope you enjoyed it and if you want more information the website is www.appgamekit.com and you can check out more information and there's a forum as well you can link to so you can have a chat about what's going on and what's coming next. AGK V2 is still in development, we're expecting it to be released on Steam before the end of the year so keep your eyes out and we look forward to bringing you some more information on it. Until then, thanks very much for listening, goodbye.